What's up guys and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the coolest aircraft on the planet. This is the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. This is genuinely such a cool aircraft, dude. This is a transformer. Look at this. We, we've got our wing folded up over top of us. If you're, you know, on an aircraft carrier or something where space is at a premium, look at the footprint that this thing takes up. It's so small. It's, it's a transformer. This is a real life transformer. It is absolutely insane. There is nothing else like it on planet Earth. And uh, today, we get to fly it. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get this thing fired up. So what we're gonna do is start with our battery button right there, looking good. And then let's get our MFDs on. So we're gonna flip these on into daytime. And then we're gonna go into system BFWS, which is blade fold wing storage. And then we're gonna set this thing to flight ready. So this is gonna be kind of our checklist here. We've initialized it. We're gonna see the flaps are going to fold up here, and then we're going to go on to unfold wing, which is arguably the coolest part. Look at this, man. So the wings will fold 90 degrees, again, for storage. If you have limited space on like a forward base or an aircraft carrier or anything like that, this thing just tightens up. So she can be stowed away. You don't have to worry about her. Obviously, she's going to be very excited to stretch her legs a little bit today and, and get things going. So our uh, our wings are folding out into a, a real aircraft position here. Dude, look at this. You can see like all the grease and dust and everything in there. This is absolutely insane. We are in a transformer. Our engines, our props, our everything are coming around to the side here. And then we're going to move into rise the nacelles. So these are going to turn into a vertical position. Now, what makes this aircraft so special is it's a tilt rotor. You could see our rotors are literally tilting right now. So you have the ability of a helicopter to take off and land vertically and, and just kind of all the maneuverability of, of that. But you could also tilt them down into basically a turboprop aircraft. So it, it, you know, the longer ranges, higher speeds, that kind of thing. It's kind of the best of both worlds. There is literally nothing else on earth like it. And uh, look at that. Our props have folded out and now we are pretty much good to go. Flaps are going back down, getting ready for a vertical takeoff. So now we're gonna get this thing fired up. So let's back out of this. We can go back to our navigation. We are going to get the APU engaged and then we are gonna start up engine number one we're going to move this into the start position and uh, our right engine is going to start to uh to fire up now we're going to take a look at this down here and we want to wait until this gets to about 68 so we'll let her get warmed up she's been all folded up tightly all you know a nice little little package so she's got to stretch her legs a little bit get warm back up and uh man look at this thing dude what an aircraft this is so cool. All right, so we're at 68, 69 looks good to me. We're gonna move this into the fly position and then we're gonna do the same thing with our left engine. So we're gonna get this girl fired up over here. This thing is just so futuristic. Who, who thought of this? Who was like, yeah, I want a helicopter and a more traditional airplane mixed in one. And then who said, oh, all right, bet. We can do that. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're waiting for this to get up to 68. She's going to get there. It starts to move pretty quick as you get up into the the higher numbers here. There it is. Beautiful. And uh, then we can move this into the run position. Now at this point, if we wanted to, we could take off vertically just like a helicopter. So if we give it a little bit of juice here, we should see her start to lift off just like that. My goodness, dude. This giant behemoth can just take off straight up, but it can also maneuver like a traditional airplane. So what we're gonna do is we are going to remove the parking brake and then I'm gonna move these nacelles down a little bit. So we're not looking for a straight vertical takeoff, we're just looking to be able to taxi. So let's get inside. Let's start taxiing down this runway here and uh, would you look at that? We are capable of straight up acting like a normal aircraft. So we're just gonna taxi to the end of this runway and we're gonna see if we can take off. By the way, now that we're taxiing, we can flip the APU back to stop now. So I don't really, I'm not super familiar with this airport. It looks like this is our big runway right here. We should be able to take off just fine. We are in Long Beach, California. I have a plan 
for where I want to go and where I want to end up landing. I wanted to stay around the Los Angeles, Los Santos area, and we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. So as we pull out here onto the, uh, the runway, definitely not going to need this much space, but we might as well use it again. We like to be a normal plane sometimes. So let's take a look outside here. We're just going to give her a little bit of throttle. We're going to start running down the runway. We could even move those nacelles down a little bit more. You're going to see that we are going to take off just like a normal aircraft. We can go ahead and put our landing gear away. Everything folds up nice and tight. Dude, this looks like something out of Halo. This is such a cool play. Are you kidding me? Look how sick this thing is. All right, so we need to trim down a little bit. We're flying pretty aggressively here. And uh, now this is where you have ultimate freedom. So if we want to, if we just want to float in place, we put our things back to vertical, our nacelles, our props, whatever you want to call them. And we can just straight up float in place. Look at me. I'm a helicopter. I can just float right here. Or if we want to, we could put these things down and we can turn into a turboprop airplane. So we're gonna put these all the way horizontal. Dude, this is just so insane. And now look at that, we are a more traditional airplane. We can fly around like a normal airplane. We can fly at normal airplane speeds. We have the efficiency and the range of a normal airplane. We can do everything a helicopter can do and everything an airplane can do. I had no idea that Long Beach had a pyramid. What it is that? Next to a bait? Is that like a high school or something? There's a baseball field, a swimming pool, and a track next to it. Why would you have a pyramid there? Okay, we probably want to pay attention here though, Trev, because we are getting a, a little a little aggressive in our, our banked turn there. But uh, yeah, now this is a straight up aircraft. Flies like a normal aircraft. Obviously, I mean, the, the props are just absolutely massive. Just uh, beating the air into submission here, but uh, it acts exactly as an aircraft would act. This thing is just so cool, dude. Are you kidding? Look at the rotors. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I think I did commit a cardinal sin though, because yeah, we're going down. You're not supposed to leave it at full throttle for more than a, a minute. All right, we crashed. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we're just going to fire this thing up again. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It was a $80 million bird or so. We're going to be okay. So let's get everything fired back up. We need to pay attention to these. I guess you're not supposed to have it at 100% full throttle for an extended period of time. You want to keep it around like 90 to 95. Also, I almost just started it with the... Uh, the, the what's it called in the wrong position. You cannot start it when they're fully horizontal. They would fly off and break and everything would die and you'd probably be cut in half. You need to have them in the vertical position to be able to start things up. So we're going to get these set back in the vertical setup. And uh, now rotor lock is off. Looks good. Now we should be able to get these things starting to fire up. There it is. All right. Right and left engine. Get them going. Keep them at about 95, Trev. Nothing more. Okay, we're both at 68, so we can move both of these into the run mode. We can uh, just go ahead and take off. We can take off full throttle. Look at that thing go. But what we want to do is not leave it at full throttle for too long. So if I go full throttle, that's going to bring them up to 100. That's what happened. That's why we ended up biting the dust there. So I'm going to back these off to like a 95. Five. Anywhere between 90 and 95 is good. We want some power. We don't want to end up crashing into the earth. So we're just going to sit like this. Nice little vertical takeoff there. We can put our landing gear back away. Be able to watch that again. I don't know why. I just love all the like mechanical moving parts on aircraft here. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're looking good. That is Los Angeles off in the distance. That's the direction that we want to go. So what we're going to do, let's get a nice view outside here. We're just going to slowly maneuver these things forward. Let's get a bit of forward momentum. And we're just going to continuously move them forward until we get into the flight setup build up our speed make sure we don't lose any altitude we're gonna lose a little bit of altitude obviously but we're gonna get this into our airplane mode and then we should be able to fly it like a normal airplane and hopefully this time we don't end up doing it too much so let me let me double check here we want to make sure we're not fully on that that 100 percent 95 96 looks good trev 
Don't touch the throttle. We're going to be all right. Dude, what a plane. How terrifying is that? Oh, we got to we gotta trim down a little bit. The, the trimming's a, a bit weird considering we're both an airplane and a, a helicopter at the same time. How scary is it that you have these giant propellers just spinning a foot from your head this entire time? I mean, this thing is just beating the air into submission. Every time we come out here, you get blasted in the, the face. Bro, what? An aircraft. This thing is so sick. So yeah, this is the first tilt rotor military aircraft. It was uh, its first flight was actually in 1989, which is quite a long time ago, but it didn't actually get introduced in our armed forces until like 2007. Obviously just such a, a unique and challenging and, and difficult thing to develop. So it spent a ton of time in development. That prop wash is insane. Look at that. Here we go. We're going to go buzz. LAX, we'll, we'll head to the beach, head around the uh, the pier, and then we're going to make our way downtown. But um, yeah, so it was, it was really hard to develop. They were, they were met with a lot of challenges. You know, at times it didn't seem like the project was going to end up going through. The budget was insane. So it started off with a two and a half billion dollar budget in 1986. Two years later, in 1989, that had inflated to a $30 billion budget. And then in 2008, we had spent $27 billion on the program. And it was expected we would need another $27 billion to, uh, to continue it and to deliver all the Ospreys that they wanted to deliver. So uh, definitely not a cheap bird. I think they're around $84 million a piece in today's dollars. So, I mean, really not insanely expensive when you think about some of the other vehicles and jets and, and aircraft and stuff that we operate. But uh, again... What makes it so special is the ability that it can it can fly like this. It can fly as a helicopter. It can literally do it all. It, it can go anywhere you want it to go. It can carry troops. It can run medivac missions. It can run special operations missions. It can get danger close on the front lines. It, it can, you know, fly long distances as an aircraft. It, like, it can do everything. There's no other aircraft in the world that's as versatile as this is. These two engines are about 1,650 horsepower each. So she's got like a 20,000 pound payload. I think it can carry up to 24 troops in the belly. Speaking of which, I think we have access to the cargo bay doors. So let me go ahead and, and flip these doors open it appears that they're not working is there another button i've got to press here it appears as if it's not working i think we've got a jammed door look at santa monica down there baby i say we go buzz the pier really quick oh i got it working you had to put the door mode in manual look at that see imagine we had 24 troops back here and uh you know paratroopers everyone's about to jump down and and storm the beaches of la we've been invaded it was this we had to turn this to manual so we're gonna Put that back to auto and then can we close? It's closing, look at that thing go. I'm not really sure how much this thing can handle. I would imagine you're not supposed to fly it like a fighter jet, but we're gonna take some aggressive bank turns here and we're gonna head back by the pier. This is just such an insane aircraft. The fact that you're in a helicopter, but it's also a plane. It can just, it can be whatever you want it to be. That's so cool. We can lift our nacelles up a little bit to give us a bit more of, of kind of a float as we go by here. I'm not an expert on the speeds or, or what we're going to need to, to stay airborne, but this this feels pretty good. Just kind of going off of a, a feel of it right here. Every good pilot just kind of goes by feel. Look at this thing go. Such an interesting aircraft. Yeah, I want something with a prop on it, but I'd like to be able to move that prop 90 degrees in the air whenever I want and turn it into a helicopter. Yep, we got you, boss. No big deal. Just give us $60 billion and uh, your wish is our command. Look at this thing, dude. So now we can go kind of a, a little bit of a, a slower... We're getting a lot of bump in here, but it's going to be okay. We're heading downtown. We've got a bit of a slower hover here. We're not in the full airplane mode we're just looking to to cruise and take in the sights and the sounds and my plan is we're going to try to land this thing on the u.s bank aka the Mays bank tower we took off as an airplane we also took off as a helicopter after we crashed and now we're going to try to uh to land as a helicopter as well this is straight up something out of halo dude look at this thing. She's kind of chunky, to be honest. Look at the size of that, that belly. Man, what a beautiful place. The ocean, the mountains, the city. 
There's just so much to take in here in Los Angeles. And look at that. The U.S. Bank Tower helipad already knows exactly where we want to go. So we probably want a bit of height. I mean, th this is, this is going to be interesting, Trev. I thought about trying to land on an aircraft carrier. I was like, you know what? We did with that with the Harrier recently. Let's go for something a little bit more challenging. So we're going to uh, start to raise these props a bit. Get a bit more in a vertical mode. Looking pretty good to me. So we've got enough to float, but we can also keep going forward. Probably going to want to trim up a little bit since we trimmed down so much. The U.S. Bank, a.k.a. the Mays Bank Tower. Let's go ahead and get our landing gear out. And I think we're going to need a bit more power. We're going to need a bit more tilt to the front. We are working on so many different axes here. We gotta be really careful about this. Sync sync rate's not not good. I can't really see much. I feel like we're falling really quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. This is not good. Don't don't crash into the tower, Trev. You're gonna be fine. Come on. Uh hello? Why are we falling? Full throttle. We we uh we're we're it's it's not it's not stopping. We're go we're going. I'm just gonna land it in the the park den. Yep, that's what I... That's what I meant. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> feel like I'm doing a GTA heist or something right now. Just gotta get the speed right. Just gotta get the speed right. You don't want to way overshoot it. I think we slowed down way too much and then our sink was just too, too strong. Here we go. Oh god. Dude, this is such a difficult aircraft to control. Come on. Just a little forward. Let off slowly. 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 Don't you dare go backwards. Everything nice and controlled. I can't get it to stop. I'm going to count it. I'm going to get this if it's the last thing that I do. Come on, baby. Dude, this thing is its really, really hard to fly, but we're going to be okay. We just honestly slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. You got to pick up Michael Trev, Franklin, and the boys. And we're going to see if we can put this cargo bob right up on top. There it is. Up, up, up. There it is, there it is, there it is. Break, 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 break. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we hung a wheel off on the, the stairs there, but that's okay. Shut our engines off here. We're going to power this girl down. And so uh, we have officially made it. We can... Uh, stow things back up if we wanted to we could fold her all back up and uh leave her up here for the next time we need to fly so hope you guys enjoyed dude this plane is absolutely ridiculous one of the most versatile and useful planes in the u.s military fleet and uh man it was a lot of fun to learn how to fly, although it is very, very difficult. So hats off to the men and women who fly this thing. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. I'll see you guys in our next episode and uh, peace out.